Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous, unanimous consent to address the House for up to five minutes and advise and extend my remarks. Without objection, General, gentlewoman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to the Commission to study the events of January 6, as well as spending $2 billion in security supplemental. The question that comes to mind is this. What about all the riots that happened during the summer of 2020 after the death of George Floyd? What about all the damage caused to federal buildings, churches, people's businesses, and innocent people that were killed, like David Dorn? This past summer, Minneapolis city officials estimate 700 buildings were damaged, burned, or destroyed, including 360 local businesses. Riots caused an estimated $55 million in damages in Minneapolis alone. BLM and Antifa established an autonomous zone in Seattle and attempted to burn government buildings in Portland. Is that not an insurrection? On one Friday night alone in New York City, BLM protesters caused over 100,000 in damages and 150 people were arrested. Just one Monday night in Philadelphia resulted in a crowd of 1,000 people looting stores, setting fires in the middle of the street, and 30 police officers injured. Protests in Kansas City resulted in 2.1 million in damages, mostly over the course of one weekend. Several officers were injured as well. Protests in Wichita, Kansas cost the police department about $1.5 million in overtime. Protests in Salt Lake City cost at least $100,000 in damages. Protests in Denver cost the city at least $5.5 million in damages in overtime. BLM protests in Nashville set a federal courthouse on fire. The destruction is estimated to have cost $1.2 million in damages. Again, is that an insurrection? Protesters in Portland destroyed barriers and attempted to burn down government buildings, resulting in $2.3 million in damages, including $1.6 million in damages to the courthouse downtown. In St. Louis, following the night of violence, buildings were looted, vandalized, and burned. Protesters in Louisville set the courthouse on fire and shot two cops, resulting in a state, a state of emergency ordered being declared. Protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin injured. Police officers set off fireworks near the building and courthouse and set at least two city trucks on fire. In Guilford County, North Carolina, courthouse was broken into, set on fire, resulting in roughly 200,000 in damages. Protests in Oakland, California resulted in a courthouse being set on fire and vandalized. The LAPD was defunded by $150 million and some smaller crime units were eliminated entirely. Studies show 570 protests in 220 U.S. locations turned violent over the summer. Are those not insurrections? The one plus billion dollars in riot damage is estimated to be the most expensive in insurance history. It resulted in up to $2 billion of damages in 20, 20 cities across the U.S., mostly concentrated in L.A., Detroit, Miami, D.C., and New York. Indeed, we should have a commission to study the violent BLM and Antifa mobs that have plagued American cities this past summer. And that's for the American people who, by the way, pay the taxes that fund everything we do here. Also, we should have a security supplemental to fund all the police departments that have been defunded due to the pressure from radical, violent, and socialist groups. We should back the blue because they certainly back us. Also, while it's catch and release for domestic terrorists, Antifa, BLM, the people who breached the Capitol on January 6th are being abused, some even being held for 23 hours a day in solitary confinement. So, Mr. Speaker, my questions are this. Who placed the pipes, pipe bombs, at the RNC and the DNC, which is an attack on both Republicans and Democrats? Why was President Trump's request on January 5th for 10,000 National Guard denied, and who denied it, and what chain of command did they follow? Also, who killed Ashley Babbitt, and why is that not being revealed? Does her family not deserve justice? And lastly, when will the witch hunt of Donald J. Trump come to an end and all of those who support him? I rest 